folks? We're here, 2022 Toyota GR Supra. This is a 3.0 premium edition. There are currently the 2.0, the 3.0, 3.0 premium, and A91 CF edition. This car as spec is about $55,000. Apple CarPlay, B58, BMW motor, 382 horsepower, 369 foot-pounds of torque. It's very efficient, has eight gears with the ZF transmission. So far, I'm on a canyon. We're gonna go for a little drive here. One thing I've noticed about this transmission is it's constantly trying to find the right gear to be in. I wish that when you put it in sport mode, it only let it go up to six gear and they could re redo the ratios. I feel like that would be, that would bring so much to this car. But the handling is remarkable. The way this car is balanced, I mean, it's, it's fast. You really have to get into the pedal so it can change all the way down and uh, give you maybe like the sound that you're looking for out of the car. But it's effortlessly fun and agile on these roads. Now I also drove uh, the Supra 2 So four cylinder, 255 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. The nice thing about that car is it's 200 pounds lighter and it still has a turbo four cylinder, so if you wanna tune it and get that extra power, you can do that. This just has raw power that that does not. At any speed you're at, you can drop down two gears and just go. And that's the appealing part of this car, and everyone wants to have the bigger engine, and it's still, it's still efficient. I mean, I was getting like 35 miles per gallon on the highway doing 75 miles per hour. Um, in the 2.0, I was getting like 40 miles per gallon uh, doing the same thing. This is just so <laughs> fun to drive. The tires on it are Michelin Pilot Super Sports and they have a special compound developed specifically for the Supra. I'm in front of uh, two bikers here. I think it's Lance Armstrong and his wife based on how they're dressed. So a couple other things here. JBL sound system with 12 speakers, two subs right behind the seats here. You can see you have this rear strut bar that goes across the back and it has Apple CarPlay. It's BMW's iDrive system. I think it's like iDrive 7.0 that's on this one. These bikers are going 45 miles per hour. That's pretty good. Um, and BMW's iDrive system is great. It's been developed over the years. I have it in my M2. Uh, it's touch screen, it's very responsive. You have the carbon fiber center dash. It's really well done and reliable. Uh, so I, I, I have no problem with that. The B58 motor in this car, it's a mass produced engine and the Toyota Supra is a very special car. And I feel like there's a better engine out there that they could have used. However, I guess to keep the cost down as much as possible, that's probably the reason what they, they went with a mass produced engine like this. Um, it has endless torque, endless horsepower, so it's fast. It's not lacking that. It's just that the sound, I don't know, the sound is kind of underwhelming. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot more uh, active. I just went over that bump there and it reminded me of the suspension. The suspension is uh, variably adaptive, so it'll adjust up to 100 times per second on the road. So if you're going over some rough pavement, it'll try and readjust to smooth that out for you. And you can kind of feel it if you think about it. Uh, think about the road surfaces that you're going on and feel how the car changes, you can feel it. Overall, as far as livability in this car, uh, you can do it. I find myself getting in this, you don't need to be flooring it and driving around. It's just fun to drive, even at lower speeds. And when a manufacturer is able to accomplish that, you know they've done something correctly. It's just kind of fun to buzz around town in and it still gets pretty good efficiency when you're doing that. On roads like this, now this is a good canyon road, it's sweeping turns, you still can't use all of the power that this has. So for me, I look at a car like the GR86 that Toyota offers where you can rev that thing all the way out. You have excellent handling excellent feel through the wheel. You're able to floor it and get all the power out. And this you can't, you kind of have to watch because it gets up to speed so fast. And you can hear the turbo spooling up. The looks of the car are, you know, I, I try to stay away from commenting on looks of the car too much because everyone has their own opinion on, on looks, they're subjective. But 
Oh my goodness, does it look incredible. 19 inch forged wheels. Um, the width of the tires on whether you go with the two liter or the three liter Supra are the same. The diameter is only 18 inches on the two liter Supra. And then also on the 2023 version of the Supra, which will have a manual transmission, that will come with 18 inch wheels as well, but they are a specific design as you can see here on the screen. So Toyota's done it all. They've dropped the Supra's back. It has the right amount of power. It has a lightweight version with a four cylinder engine. And now demand of the market asking for the manual transmission and they gave it to us. And now our job is to go buy it because everyone wants to talk about, oh, it needs a manual, needs a manual. The question is, are those people actually going to buy the car? A lot of times the answer is no. We gotta put our money where our mouth is. It looks like they're only building 500 of the manuals, so that will be a highly sought after car and I think that will sell pretty well. And I think it's good that Toyota uh, just limits the production of them because you really don't know how many people are actually going to buy despite what the YouTube comments say. Sorry to interrupt this video, I'll be brief. Into the AM is having their basic tee in essential sale. This is one of their basic tees. It's going on right now, the 18th through the 21st. Use code Jeep to save an additional 10%. Also, the video, the shirt that I'm wearing in the video, Electric Desert. Uh, this is the collaboration I did with Into the AM. These shirts are extremely comfortable. They're well priced. I wear these basic tees all the time. They are excellent. They're very comfortable. If you don't want a logo, the essentials have no logo on them. The quality's great, the fitment's great, you'll really enjoy them. Use code Jeeves, saves you 10% into the AM. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Dead silent here, dead silent. Just look at this thing, let's appreciate this. In between these canyon walls, the Supra. I mean, just look at the beauty of the front of this car. My God, the headlights, the LEDs, look incredible 19 inch forged wheels as i said earlier and who would have thought that mixing black and chrome together on a wheel would actually look good you notice that they have the toyota super written on the red caliper which is how this car should have come starting out fake vent here there's not even a cutout uh, underneath the hood love the matte black mirror caps um, another thing that drives me nuts about this car is when you're driving at about 55, starting at about 55 miles per hour, there's awful wind buffeting inside the car, meaning it's like the helicopter effect. There's a way to fix that. There's these cheap $20 parts that you can put on here and it, you know, it fixes that issue. But again, from the factory, why didn't they just solve that? You also notice the double bubble roof, which is an homage to the uh, 2000 Toyota GT. The seats, Really nice seats, they're just comfortable. They're not overdone, they're sporty enough. And then it has the keyless access entry, so you just grab that at a car unlock. The duckbill spoiler built into the back looks beautiful, and then 275 width tires in the back. And the car has a staggered stance, which just looks great. I mean, it just is endlessly good to look at. I mean, you can just sit in your garage and spend time with this if you don't have anyone else to spend time with. It's just gorgeous great to take pictures and video of and it's shocking to see on the street it looks like this is like Darth Vader's face or something like that but yeah I, I just man I really I really love this car I think the the biggest downside to it maybe to everyone was not having a manual transmission but now it comes with that and honestly if you want to daily drive this car and you're going to be in traffic and everything like that having an automatic is not the worst thing ever you're able to still put it in manual mode and shift it yourself, which I know it's not the same, but for efficiency and for daily usability, it is better. So my closing thoughts with the Supra, we'll start with the interior. The seats are great, they're comfortable, they're not overly bolstered, but they're good enough for daily driving, so that's nicely done. The center console here it has Apple CarPlay, it has a good sound system, it has the carbon fiber in the middle. The shifter, you have to get used to that a little bit as far as the you know, am I in park, how do I engage, all this type of stuff. But again, if you own a car, you're going to get used to that within a couple of days. A lot of times when you watch these reviews on YouTube, the reviewer acts like everyone's gonna have the car for an hour. Just because the reviewer can't figure it out, they act like the owner is gonna be like, how do you put it in 
But in reality, is it is some of the weirdest features of cars. You always end up figuring it out. So uh, the center console is beautiful. The the interior is really nicely done. Surprisingly, it's pretty small in here. I would the 86 is actually bigger on the inside of the car. So it is very small in here. You cannot fit golf clubs in the trunk. For those of you who play golf, don't worry, I got you. I check that on every car. Um, you'd have to take like your driver and three wood out and then you'd be fine. But the trunk's a nice space. If you're gonna be using this on road trips, if you have a full-size suitcase or a couple carry-ons, you'll be able to fit it in the trunk, no problem. The windshield, it's, it's squat, but you can actually have good visibility out of the front. The tough part is that on the road, there are some blind spots right here. Um, so that's tough. You just have to really check your mirrors. You do have the blind spot monitor on the car with the technology package. So you do have some of that stuff that will help you out. I guess one of the downsides is the engine is, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing because you want the car to be affordable. You want, you want to be able to buy it and not spend over $100,000. So they have a straight six engine. Um, the, it's I would say the engine is great for daily usability. If you're not gonna be taking this to the track all the time, you're gonna be taking it to work and short runs to wherever, this engine's perfect for that. And maybe that's what Toyota was thinking. You know, they want this car to be used and driven and on the streets because of efficiency and because of the torque that it has in any gear, it performs really well. In that sense, it's a win and I'm just happy that these cars are being made. I'm happy that Toyota is also listening to the customer. They're giving the manual transmit. They're giving us everything we want. You have to go out and buy it. A lot of times I'll, I'll get in my Tesla and I'll jump in that if I have to go to the grocery store, but I'm being pulled to this car and not every press car does that to me. Um, I, it's not like I just get in a press car and I'm like, oh, I have a press car, I'll just take that. I drive what car I want to drive and I got up at uh, five this morning to take this out into the canyons to have open roads. And I was so excited to get in the Supra. It's a striking looking car. It performs well. It's fun to sit in here. It's driver focused. And a little uh, error. I was wrong about the Supra. I was wrong about the Supra. I was driving on these roads and I was like, man, this thing, it's not that exciting. The gear, it's always in the wrong gear. It can't pick a gear. Then I decided, oh wait, why don't I just shift it myself? A lot of times I like to let the car do it. Let's see what the engineers wanted us to feel while we're driving. Nope, they wanted us to shift it ourselves. And when you do that, get this car in third gear on a canyon road, oh my God, does it rev beautifully. Listen to this. Now, is it PDK fast? No, that's that's the halo. But oh my goodness, letting it, letting me choose the gears and holding the gears. <laughs> Listen to it, rev in that high range. This is oh my goodness, is this exciting? This is exciting. Down into second. heavy hairpin, stay in third, it has so much torque. There's the rear diff is coming in. This is what this car is all about. This is the balance and sound and everything. This is what I was looking for and hoping for. Jeez, this feels so good. Third gear has so much torque. That This, this is fun. Sorry, we lost the camera there. You know, I complained about the steering wheel and uh, being too thin, and you, you can complain about all that stuff. That all goes right out the window. The second you shift it yourself um, and let that engine just rev. I mean, that's not even all out. Like, I'm, I'm three quarters on the throttle, maybe 60%. Nice job, Toyota. Nice job, BMW. Nice job, everyone. This is a beauty. This is so good.
Sorry the camera's getting screwed up, but we're pulling some G's. If you're gonna put the Supra name on something, this is how it should be. They have the manual coming. And guys, the old Supra came in an automatic transmission too, so don't forget that. Miata, they gave me the peace sign. They don't understand my hands are glued to this wheel. That's what's nice about the car community. We all kind of get it. Like, she knows why I'm out here. Tires are warmed up, so you have endless grip. So if you're thinking of getting one of these, I highly recommend it. And if you're like, well, maybe I kind of want the uh, four cylinder version. I have a video of that as well. You can click the card right on your screen and check out that video. I talk about daily drivability and then I do a full review of it. So check out the four cylinder Supra on my channel. I appreciate your support. Toyota, thank you for letting me have this for a week. Really appreciate it, helps the channel and my viewers love it. See you next time.